as you've heard, welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake. In the last episode, we explored Halloween Rock Bottom, and now we have our caveman suit on. We saved Patrick's house. We are heading to the next portal. I don't know quite what it'll be, but I guess we'll find out together. We also haven't used this. I'm a little curious to see where this is gonna launch us. Whoa! Way over on top of the chum bucket, and here I there's think actually I can get across here through the air. Just call me a flying fish. Whoa. Ah. Let's try slamming this then. And I guess it'll make some more stuff over here. So maybe we'll explore this first before we hop into our next portal, just because you know it's fun to find things around here in Bikini Bottom. We can almost land on this surfboard just like that. And then get over to this section where we have Sticky a couple sweet. of balloons to hit. Jeez, what a combo this is. Gotta watch out for the fire ring. That's our first time seeing that one. And then right over here, boom, we get ourselves this our third note. This will get us out of a sticky situation. Nah. All right then, very, very cool. So that was our third note, I guess. Um, hmm. Is there anything else to do up here? It doesn't seem like it. So like I said, I want to glide all the way over here and try to get to our next thing. Uh, I've got to fight a couple of enemies. There we go. <laughs> We're doing pretty good at beating people up though, so that's always nice. But let's head over here to another portal to, of course, oh, another thanks, level. Squidward. Your two favorite people in the world are coming to rescue you. <laughs> oh, let's see if that's the case. Let's travel to a new world and save Squidward. So we haven't really seen Squidward too much in this game since the very beginning when he was painting his painting in his front yard. But I guess we'll see what happens now. Ah! Petcar, Manaka, Spongebob. No blah blah? Okay. Oh no, they can't talk. <laughs> so I guess they're just talking about the different things going on, like a volcano exploding. But they're sort of using caveman speak. <laughs> Whoa! All right then, so we need to rescue Squidward somewhere here in this new world. Whoa, 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 what's happening? Escape the cave, we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> oh my goodness, I was not ready for that one. Can I jump over this stuff? I can, I can. Oh man, it's still falling behind us, quick. We gotta go, so I guess maybe that's what Patrick was warning us about, was that the volcano was exploding? Oh my goodness, and it's still falling behind us. We really gotta move. Uh, I guess I'll just slam through here, if it lets me, there we go. We made it and we're sliding with our tongue now. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh boy, I do need the extra health, but unfortunately I missed it. Oh, uh, what's, oh, this is a bear fish. I remember them and the little crabs. Oh no, get them off, get them off, get them off. I don't think I can, there we go. The prehistoric crabs and boom, we did it. That was awesome. Oh no. Oh no, it's Squidward's clarinet. Squidward! Squidward, no, bye bye! Squidward, Banuga! Boyfera! So they heard Squidward somewhere. I guess we have to find him. But since we haven't checked, what is the name of this world? This is the Prehistoric Kelp Forest. So cool. So we'll definitely be looking around here just for anything, really. But especially Squidward. Okay, so let's break these open a little bit. We also need to find some doubloons because we're pretty close to getting some new costumes if we do get another doubloon tier. And how to Grand Slam, we've been looking for this one for a while, so we jump in, I guess we just press slam twice. Cool, so I think we press slam twice. Maybe it's just that our slam is just upgraded. Hard to tell, I guess we just double jump and slam, something like that. It works out pretty well, glad to see it. So we have our Grand Slam unlocked. Definitely gonna make the most of that in some other older areas at some point, but for right now, where's Squidward? Apparently just right over this way. I, I don't quite see him. Maybe up there? Uh-oh. What is that? Whoa! That's a new slime. Go jump! Run, run, run! Jelly monster's coming at us. Maybe we can grab onto it, or maybe I'm supposed to super slam it? That didn't seem to do anything. Oh, it did! I think it made it, made it confused. Okay, so that's good. We know how to handle it then. We just slam like that, hit it again. We gotta do that one more time. You can see a bunch of random stuff and it's jelly. Okay, here it comes, here it comes. We slam it, we hit it, and boom, defeated. So new enemies are not, we're taking care of them, no problem. And that's gonna raise some platforms right up there. 
So we'll definitely take care of that in just a moment. I figure we should, you know, get as many jellies as we can manage. So if there's a couple of different boxes we can break, I'm gonna go for it real quick. Got it. So we're closing in on 6,000 of them. And I did take a peek at some of the different challenges we need to do in this game, because I definitely want to get all the challenges done. And one of them is to have 10,000 jellies at one time. So that might be a bit challenging, but we got some enemies popping in over there. Luckily, they're pretty easy to defeat. I wonder if we could use this to get up this way. We could, but there's not much up there. All right. Well, over this way. I love how in this one, even Patrick's costume changes. Usually, it's just SpongeBob, and then Patrick always stays the same, but not this time, a little bit different. I guess we could have shortcutted it and maybe gone over there. We're just gonna keep going this way. Gotta be careful with these platforms though. These little, I, I mean, they're not little, but the, the Venus fly traps, they're huge. Not chomp us at. Okay, got it. There we go. Ooh, using our karate kick all over the place. Getting rid of both of those enemies. And that was it. Oh, oh, breakfast to bonga bonga? Escape to bonga bonga. Okay, well, Patrick's just thinking about breakfast, but we need to get out of here because that lava down there could toast this up. Oh, maybe that's what he was talking about because he saw lava before and thought it was cheese. Come on, come on, can we get this golden spatula over this way? We can, no problem, that was great. Okay, let's try to glide over to this one though, but the lava balls are falling at us. Come on, oh, not too bad. I wish I could karate kick these square guys, but it doesn't quite work that way. Either way, we got them. And now we're heading down here. Oh wow, so there's a lot to do here. There's more of those bear fish though that are pretty spooky, so. Gotta be careful of that. Whoa, it's a big dolphin skeleton. Some prehistoric wildlife underground. Okay, we got them right away. That was actually a pretty cool combo. Yeah, we can just get them right back up. Let's try that again. Gotcha, <laughs> they don't even have a chance. We're just going crazy on them. So that's some really good stuff. And now even more platforms will raise up. Seems like a pretty simple concept. You know, we beat up enemies and the way forward appears. Okay, so where exactly are we headed? I think just over there to the side, but it looks like there's extra stuff down there, or was that, was that where we were? I don't think so. Okay, I'm really curious. What's going on inside of the log? There's a big button to press and a wall to karate kick. So kick that wall, what did that do for us? Not much, not much. But maybe if I hit this, whoa, it's like a little, huh, a little thing to do. Okay, so let's try to get this challenge done, get these surfboard boards picked up. And if we go through all the rings, maybe in the right amount of time, because the timer's going down. Where do we go from here? Oh, we get a doubloon. That was so cool. That was a really fun extra one. And we get a new tier of costumes unlocked. So I'll definitely have to take a look at that at the end of today's episode. We'll try to swing by the shop and see if there's anything cool to purchase. Very, very cool though. I'll get through to this thing, and I'm just gonna spin into as many enemies as we can. Oh, here comes some more. Gotta be ready for them. And then, Ooh, got the both of them. Uh-oh, but there's more, there's always more. They're all coming for us at once. Here, we'll do that, hit you. The bathtub guys are always the slowest ones to defeat. There we go, but unfortunately not enough for them to get caught. Come on, that's gotta be it, ah. This one, boom. Okay, one more attack should do the trick. Or you could just put you in a bubble or something. This one, ooh. Come on, one more time, one more time. Okay, you're gonna do the super spin. I can handle that because you'll slam and then I hit you. Awesome, that's gotta be all of them. Yep, the platforms open up. Ooh, but now they sort of move on their own, huh? Maybe not, maybe not. Yeah, typically they don't slam down until we stand on them for a moment. Sort of like in Crash Bandicoot. Okay, so. We'll get across. Oh, there he is! Hi, Squidward. Always having a hard time. Trying to catch some jellyfish. Ooh, good catch, though. Oh, no. Aww. Save Squid, best friends. Be careful. Tabaga, work acquaintances. <laughs> All right, well, Squidward still doesn't even want to be associated with us, but how to rolling rock. We can jump on a rock and I guess jump off of it. That's so cool. Definitely want to try that one, but Squidward's been captured. Rolling 
Rook, ba boom! Let's try to ride this somewhere. Oh boy, I can really move it quick, but. Oh, and I can get it to, whoa, that's crazy. It's very hard to steer, very difficult to steer. Can I turn it around and go back uphill? Sort of, yeah, but I don't know to any benefit. So we'll just keep going down this way. This is so cool though. We gotta save Scoot real quick. I don't want him to turn into somebody's dinner. Uh-oh, um, there it goes, there it goes. He's gotta wait for the lava to raise us up, and off we go. This is very neat though. Love seeing new things like this. And then we need to jump off of it or something? Okay, it worked, it worked, it worked. We're fine. And whoa, that thing is huge. It's a big whale. Oh, don't zap him. Leave him alone. That's not good. We're pasturing them. Catch jellyfish to wake the Dorodon. Okay. Oh, this is another rock I can sort of roll around on. I guess I will grab one of you. I need to grab 15 jellyfish. That might be a bit of work. We'll get up here. Gotcha. Pretty cool. Uh-oh. Yo, let's knock that back at you. I don't want to deal with it. Oh, the rock's gone. It's not there anymore. How do I get back then? Okay, it's waiting first on the other side. That's pretty neat. First things first. Uh, I don't know why it thinks I'm at the rock right now, but oh no, come on, I couldn't quite make it. Huh. I guess I just have to jump a little bit farther. There it is, much better, much better. We can knock that back at you. We can catch another jellyfish. And there were a few more up there, so maybe I should just jump off here so I can deal with them. Got it? Because they're not being very friendly. Gotcha. Get all that dealt with. I wanna get rid of all these enemies as soon as possible because they're being a little too much. Gotcha. And then you over here, mister, you're done for, you're done for. Got it, and got it, so. I think that's everything on this part of the platform. We can go back to our rock and roll over to the other side. We did take a lot of damage from all of this stuff though, so if we find any underwear, we definitely need to pick it up, come on. That was silly, that was all on the rock, that should be enough. There we go. Oh, now Patrick has one for me, but will he drop it straight in the lava? Of course he will. Oh no, I think we still got it. Okay, that's useful. Thank you, Patrick, sorry for doubting you. Break some of that open. I think over here, yep, now the jellyfish. Another one waiting for us on this side of it. Gotta be careful, because they can try to zap us. Over here. We're looking for two more. There's stuff trying to be slammed on me. That's not good. Where's the last one? Did we pass it somewhere? Oh, it's up there. Okay, see, so yeah, if we jump off the rock, I see. Now we can just combo a bunch of enemies, grab that one, maybe I should fight this guy first. Ready, jump. Slam, hit them, and then we're just gonna slam them again to get them back up. And then one more time. So you can deal with this pretty quick, which is nice. Now we can get this jellyfish. Come on, jellyfish, you got it. Ooh. That was cool. So catch jellyfish to wake the door on. Very good. Why are we back here, though? Not quite sure. So now that's woken up, I mean, it still seems like it's sleeping to me. Yeah, but maybe that was enough for it to move the platforms. I think that was what the case was. So I think we just get back to where we were. All these jellies are stuck in the air. Huh. Oh, no, there we go. I picked them up. We we're just heading right over here. There's another pair of underwear up there that we can also grab. Is there anything on top of the Dorodon? Doesn't look like it, so I don't want to bother them too much. I do see this over here, but this is another button. No, wait! I pressed wrong one. Whoops. Uh, this is another one we can't quite hit. I don't think. What do I need for this one? Oh, I need the the reef blower. That's what it's called, right? We don't have that one yet, so that'll be cool to get. Okay, let's get over here. Do away with some enemies. And then try to get up here. Got it. And, oh, Patrick's waiting for us at the entry of this cave. Oh, he's gonna start glowing again so that we can see. Very useful, thank you, Patrick. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa, we got launched! I guess that was the volcano and it exploded at just the right time. That was so cool. And now we get the slide. Wee. This is gonna be fun. 
I love the sliding sections for these games, so this is great. I had a lot of fun with them in uh, Bound for Bikini Bottom, for sure. Oh, I see, do you see that underwear? I definitely need to try to grab this, just like that. Uh-oh, what are you gonna do? Gonna throw some enemies at me? Oh, more than that, you're gonna throw the little, I thought it was the tiki heads who were flying for some reason. <laughs> but no, they're throwing the tiki heads at us. So we can't really do much about those. I think they'll just sort of knock us over, so. Ah, no, it pushed me off. Wait, wait, no, come on. I just, that was very weird. Okay, we're trying again, though. Luckily, we don't get sent too far back. Just gonna try to jump over what I can. We're gonna stay on this side. At least for now, as these bears are chomping at us from every angle. It's too much. Okay, here we go, here we go. Gonna use all of our different combos. This is such a fun level so far. Got it. And I think we just, yeah, gotta go along the side of it. I think. Yo, now we have full health because we fell off, I guess. Do a bit of that, oh no. I hit my tongue on that one, so that's not good. Sorry, SpongeBob. We're getting somewhere though. Just a little bit more. Ooh, I made it, I made it. Oh, the lava's pluming up all over us. Every moment of this is super intense. It's way down there, so we still have so much more left to survive here. I don't mind. Okay, heading down here. And just a little bit more around this corner. It actually gets very, very wiggly around here, so hard to tell exactly how much more time it's gonna take. Haven't seen any extra collectibles around here, though. Hmm. Got it, got it, got it. How do I get up there? Whoa, I gotta take this crazy jump way up this way. And look at this, I can already see in the distance. This is the balloon waiting for us if we can survive this onslaught of more bears. There we go, ready, and jump for it. We got it, so there's another balloon collected. Oh, thanks SpongeBob, are you okay? That was a rough landing, but it seems like he made it. Okay, so we're heading up over here. There's so much lava. Can't even think about falling here. It would be a really bad deal. It seems like we still have a lot more to get through if we want to rescue Squidward, so making sure that we can make it through here safely is pretty important. Now with our Super Slam, can I break these? No, I still can't break these. So what's gonna break these things, I wonder? Because it's not that. What a shame. All right, well, can't break those guys either, it seems. I, I think I need to, though. Here, turn you into a bubble. I'll try to get rid of you. <laughs> Maybe not the best platform. Okay, they fell in the lava, and now our little platforms will pop up, right? Something like that? Oh, I see. Whoa, whoa, gotta be quick with this. We do not wanna get toasted. We're making it, we're making it. I guess I'll grab this. No, okay, I thought I was supposed to land on that. Whoops. Okay, try that again. Where am, oh, I'm supposed to hook off the thing. I didn't even see that. I thought it was making a platform down below. Come on, come on. So I think we'll have to do that a couple of times then. Grab this one. Got it. And almost got it, there we go. Maybe not. Uh, that was so unfortunate. Okay, well, it actually sent me back here. Okay, so we, we didn't have to do it again. That's very lucky. Now I gotta go across all these platforms. There are some enemies trying to catch up to us. Oh, the little skeletons up there are, are in love. You can see a little heart up there. Hard to sort of catch, but that's so cute. I like it, I like it. Happy little fish. So, let's get over here. And yeah, kick that one so we can get over here a little bit more easily. Now this might not be so necessary, but we can get some extra jelly over here, so I might as well grab that, and then go for all this. As soon as I can, I wanna karate kick some of these opponents. Whoa, whoa, it almost sent me too far. Okay, you can go ahead and try to slam me. So that I can, oh no, bring back the pain a little. Uh-oh, that just brought a lot more of them. Okay, who do I wanna fight first here? I think I might wanna fight you, just because if not, you're gonna be sending more enemies over anyways. Uh-oh, but then this happens. Okay, that was a lot. Slam me back up, if it lets me. Where'd you go? Uh, there you are, gotcha. And then you go back down, I slam you again. Oh, this time it's not working, I had to be faster. 
gotcha. Now these two need to go. Oh, <laughs> they're so mean. Come on, come on. That bubble might end up popping. And while it might, we'll break up those two enemies. It did pop, but not where I, I could actually do anything about it. There we go, that should be all of them. Indeed it is. So I guess I just wanna head over there now, because I don't see anything else to really do around here. Okay, and I'll get this thing. We're back on the rock. Ooh, this is a pretty intense lava section too. Oh, we're picking up speed as we go down here. I go, go, go down hill. I guess we could have uh, taken that way too. Not really necessary. Might have been a nice little shortcut, but I don't always have to take the fastest way. Sometimes it's just best to take the, the least dangerous one. Got a big turn coming up. Very curved. I might try to grab that though. There we go. Not too bad. Uh oh. More lava popping up. I don't think there's anything up there. It doesn't look like it. So I'm just gonna keep hitting these. Cause they give us a couple each, so they're definitely worth hitting. And maybe this one. Got it. And then we need to jump, karate kick, and then ride the next rock over. Gotta combo them a little bit. What's down there? I don't think I wanna know. I don't think we're supposed to go down there, so I'm gonna avoid it as much as I can. Then we need to jump off and start gliding. Whoa, those were farther than I thought. I think we made it somewhere. Uh -oh. me to bunga. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was you, Patrick. Uh oh. Oh no. Whoa. And all the way back down. <laughs> That was crazy, we got launched all over the place. But now we're sliding down this way. Just seems like everything's falling apart around here. <laughs> I love all the fossils though. Okay, oh no. Gotta watch out for that. It is right behind me. I think if I hold forward, I actually go a little bit faster. I gotta keep that in mind for this section because look at all this stuff right behind us. We're in huge trouble if we don't move. Oh, and that caught up to, with me, okay. See, I gotta be really careful about things like that. So if, if I hold forward, we move a little bit faster, it seems. So definitely make the most of that. Avoid these guys, but also jump over all the ancient crabs. And we still have our double jump too, so that can always be good. This time, we're definitely a lot ahead of the, the falling rocks, which is good. Oh no. These jumps can still be tough. Now we have the lava spin now too. Oh my gosh. This keeps getting worse and worse around here. Come on, SpongeBob, you can do it. I wonder if her t his tongue hurts a little bit after all this, you know? Hope it doesn't. And I think we made it all the way to the bottom. So what's with this? Is this another secret or puzzle of some sort? It might just be. <laughs> Patrick's excited to see it, but ooh. Yeah, some kind of picture. I guess we're trying to make it match the cave paintings in the background. Let's take a quick look. Oh, what is this? So flower, jellyfish, fish, shell, heart. If we take a look at these. So it looks like everyone's catching jellyfish. That looks like Pearl. Pearl seems really happy. But then Squidward falls out of the portal. People are scared. They go and eat him. And then, uh-oh, we're trying to save him. Somebody's running these down as they're happening. So I guess we need to make this all sort of piece together a bit. It can be hard to tell at the moment what goes where, but this is, you can see, I think they're supposed to sit on these pedestals. Oh, that's what that tells us. That sort of tells us the solution if we just want that. So how we would do this, right, is I guess we just hit these over. I wanted to sort of figure out the picture, but now I know, so it feels too late. So we put the flower there, and then I need to move this one away because we need the jellyfish here. So whatever empty spots we have, we just sort of use to hold it. And I see a doubloon back there. We have to remember to grab that after. Maybe I should grab that before just in case like a cutscene happens that forces us to move forward. You never know with games like these. So I'll grab that really quickly. And then we're back to it, we're back to it. So we need our jellyfish over here to the left. You can see what this is sort of making. With Pearl panicking. So we need the shell and then the heart. We can handle that. Oh, we can just move these from side to side like that too, so that makes sense. 
I just need to move this one over a couple of spaces and then in like that and that should be the solution, right? Maybe it's not centered? Uh, well, here's the heart, you know? So maybe I need to move it over? Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, I guess it wasn't quite. Oh, does this one not have a, a dozen? Okay, there we go. Very cool. Ta-da! Oh no. So now they're realizing it themselves. Oh, there's Pearl. And Squidward. We're gonna have to sneak over. Uh-oh. Watch out! Uh-oh. No. Is Pearl crying? Okay, a lot is happening right now. Where are we? Uh-oh. Defeat Pom Pom. Okay, well, now we gotta fight her. Oh, she's just stomping. So do we just jump up there and take a swing? Not looking like it. So there's something we gotta do here to fight her. <laughs> Hold on tight, Squidward. We're trying to help. I guess I go up there and break that tusk. Oh, and that'll make something fall on her. There's a big chandelier over her head. Okay, we got this, we got this. We're gonna jump over here, and boom, got it. <laughs> ba boom ba Boom indeed. Now let's get rid of all these other enemies. Oh no, she's very squawk. Oh, there's still some more enemies running around. Um, I think that was all of them. This is pretty crazy. Good job! Uh oh. Oh, over here, over here. So let's go ahead and grab all of this, then. Ready? Oh, Boom. Got it good. Ba Boom. Okay, I got them midair, which is always cool. Nice Trying to do that to the rest of them. Nice See you up there. It's hard to hit them with the bubble, but eventually we get them. It sort of tracks them down, which is pretty cool. Ah, oh, I took some damage here. But luckily there's plenty of underwear around for if we take damage like that. It's not too, too bad. So we gotta go over to this one. Break that. And is that the last one? Oh, watch out above! Okay, so it didn't hurt her, but I guess it broke up the platform a bit more. So here comes some more of everything. Whoa, that one was huge. You just barely dodge that one. Sort of gotta go in between them. Not too much time to respond to it though. Here comes some more enemies. So gotta break these guys up as much as possible. Oh, she's crying. I was not ready for that. Okay, let's jump over there. That wasn't too bad. Uh-oh. Oh, there's even more down there. Wow, okay. We know what we need to get to then, so let's break oh, that one. Ah, and then maybe I can just rush over. Ah, I don't quite have the chance. This is ridiculous. Oh no, wait. Okay, dodged it. Ah, I'm trying to get away from it. I need to remember that we have a little dodge move like that. That might just be what helps me. Because you can just dodge right through them like that. Okay, perfect. There you go, that's much better. Ready, boom. And here comes some more enemies. Oh my goodness, they are everywhere. So I wanted to try to beat them up, but no wait. I gotta remember that we can dive if we need to like this. A couple more of these enemies popping up. I think there's another, yeah, one of these guys. Oh, plenty of them. Got it. We're going pretty quick now though. Whoa. Got it. Gotta jump over all that stuff just so I can get this pair of underpants. And there's one last enemy over here I need to deal with. Gotcha. Gotcha. Ooh, look at us. So if we could just get to that claw that's underneath there as soon as the platforms pop up, but oh man, there is an entourage of enemies trying to stop us. Oh my goodness. Okay. Trying to slam you. Got it, got it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Ready, and boom, we got it! Ooh, Guga. Take a look, SpongeBob, take a look, Oog, 
Squawk trapped here with two morons? No! <laughs> Onga jokey! <laughs> So he actually got Squidward to believe that he lost the bubble blower, but luckily we still had it. It was just a practical joke. That was a quick level though. We're in and out of that one really fast. Here we go, back to Bikini Bottom with Squidward. Oh wow, and that's cleaning a lot of stuff up here for the, the boat training area. Very cool. And Squidward's house too. Oh no. Maybe the cave talk takes some time to wear off. Uh, Squidward, I don't know if you've noticed, but I want you to hear it from me first. Uh, you're still talking like a cave squid. Ham, Gaga. Hmm, looks like Squidward's vocabulary is stuck between the cosmic rifts. Madam Cassandra will help us get it back. So I guess we have to talk to Cassandra about that at some point. <sighs> But in the meantime, I figure we'll talk to Sandy real quick. We do get an award. Oog Ogaha. <laughs> Very cool. SpongeBob, good that you're here. I need your help with a problem I'm having. Anything for you, Sandy. It looks like a heating for my tree dome broke when we came back. I have a little emergency machine for cases like this, but it needs some really hot objects in order to function. We'll keep our eyes open on our adventure and bring you back as many hot objects as we can find. You're the Bob. All right, cool, so find hot objects zero to five. I'm guessing they will all be in the area we just explored. But uh, I figure since we do have a lot of time in today's episode, I'm guessing talking to Cassandra will get us to, what's it called, get us to uh, the next area, because that's usually how that works. So I'll slam you up here. We'll get rid of this enemy while we're talking. Uh, we'll explore on Bikini Bottom, because there's more of those notes to find, I'm sure. I'd like to work on those a little bit because we only started finding them last episode, but I think they've been popping up each episode or something. Because, I don't know, I'm surprised that they just started popping up those nine of those in total. No! That's not good. Also, since we had the chance, why don't we go take a look at our new costumes we unlocked? So, right down this way, we have the tier four of costumes, which has Explorer Bob. Everybody sing the jellyfish song the knight costume, become the valiant, valiant hero of Bikini Bottom. The vampire costume, yellow, mellow, and extra creepy. And then finally, the housemaid. Someone has to do the work around here. So we'll need two more coins, actually six more coins in total. So it sort of spends them once you get to the next tier. So we'll need six more coins, or four, or eight. Eight more coins yet to get to uh, tier five. So it keeps going and going. We're gonna have to find quite a lot of coins. I'm guessing we'll have to revisit some worlds to do all that, but yeah, pretty cool. We'll keep to normal SpongeBob now that we're back at Bikini Bottom, but yeah, very exciting that we're getting all this done. A little dabble, do ya? Okay, so yeah, with I know that things all are getting of that back done, to normal, but <laughs> that wasn't saying much for this town. I suppose so. Uh, there's Glove World over there, which I think we're supposed to explore some other time. I wanted to go over to Mrs. Puff's sometimes, boating academy. Sometimes I feel like someone's controlling me. Whoa, lucky. Pretty crazy. All right, so something's changed around here. The platforms popped up, so I'm hoping that there's at least a couple more notes we can find around here. That'd be awesome. I don't really see any down that way, but there's gotta be a few to find. Cause I saw those, yeah, the little fly traps. Oh, here we go, off this way. So I'll jump off of all of that. Oh, I'm gonna no! avoid these mean guys though. Sticky sweet. How do I get up there from here? Hi guys, uh, they are really, they're looking for us. They're, they're looking their chops right now. I don't know, they, they felt like you just. Are. Well, I gotta go. It looks like this just went in a there big circle. Well, I'm a little confused. Go. This town has really changed, man. Huh, let me go back up there, because there's gotta be more. How do I get up there from all that? Weird. Huh, let me try again. We'll get up here. Like these guys, I can't hit them away or anything. They just sort of are where they are. So there must be some other way to get to the rest of this then. Okay, well unfortunately, I'm not quite seeing it. Maybe there's a slingshot somewhere or something like that. I know that of course, Gary here return from the last episode. We'll try to avoid him, but maybe behind him there's a couple things that just seems, uh, I don't know, it's not good. I guess these guys don't do too much damage. Which is fortunate. There you go. Uh, we're sending them flying. This is so odd. I'm still here, do I roll them off? How do I get this guy off of me? I don't know. Uh, he's on there tight. Poor SpongeBob. 
Uh, nothing I press seems to do anything. I do see some extra stuff down here. Maybe I'll just fall off then. Uh, you do care. Yow! It's still on us. Get this crab off of us. What do I do? Okay, maybe I fall again. This is so weird. There's like a couple of them on us now. Or something. There we go, that's back to normal. I don't know what's going on here. You can see the note there, but it's not really a way to actually get to it. So maybe after we play more levels, we'll be able to get to some of these. But for now, it just seems weird. Like well, over this way, we do have another way to like slam something, which we didn't have this before. So we have a few seconds you here to- care. No! <laughs> okay, that's not what I wanted. Um, so we're not gonna have too much time here to ride this one. But if we can ride these surfboards across this little goo section, we might be able to get something. I don't have much time because I fell in the water like that, but or the goo, or whatever it is. Ooh, not quite gonna reach it, am I? Darn, well, actually, no, wait, ah, come on, yes, we did it! Oh, that was so cool. Where are we going from here, though? Right up here? Okay, that's great and all, but that, that better lead to a sticky note somewhere, right? There's no way that this dead ends. Maybe I, I have to do it, but actually make it in time. I'm not sure, that is so odd. Oh, there's the note. I swear that wasn't there before. Make Maybe I just had to make it in time. Good notes. Well, that one was almost a sentence. All right then. So, what, what will this that? button do? Whoa, plenty more platforms, and this could lead to another one up here. I already see it in the distance. So we're starting to find more sticky notes, which is always exciting. I'm feeling. Wait, what's the point of a water tower? I guess that's a tower that shows that you're underwater. That's stupid. I can dig it. <laughs> All right then, well. This little uh, note will get us out of a sticky situation. Ah. There's another sticky note, but yeah, I guess water towers don't have the same purpose under the water, do they? I don't know if there'll be too many more st sticky notes for us to find, but I'm certainly willing to look. Hmm. Because we were sort of around this way oh, already, and I, I didn't see any. We explored this a few episodes ago, and I was really confused on how there really wasn't much to find, but I think it was just because more crab, stuff sort of pops up as we explore up, more or we explore more of the other levels and Bikini Bottom becomes more alive. Because like, this wasn't really here too much, was it? This is uh, Mr. Crab's house. And there's still portals to the older, level, older levels here too, which is pretty cool. We like, should probably help Squidward before we go. He seemed miserable. Yeah, so, oh, maybe that's the new portal. Oh, gotcha. So we can't do too much there. We'll touch it at some point next episode for sure. But in the meantime, It doesn't seem like there's too much more to do here. There's the Karate Kick Slam. We've already done this one, I think. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think we have. See, just little buttons across Bikini Bottom to help us get the other things. A little dab will do ya. Oh no, we got new enemies though. Whoa! Dodge you. Ow. Ow! For the most part, at least. Oh, you're gonna spin. Don't let me fall off though. Gotcha, that's our first hit. Got many more to endure. Oh, here we go again with this, huh? Gotcha. One more hit is already. These are my least favorite enemies to go against just because they take so much time. But when they spin like this, I feel like it's a little bit more preferred because at least you know how quickly it's gonna end. Ooh, and with that jelly. done, was that a note? It was a note. Ooh, a sticky note. Hello, my name is Patrick. I can see why you wrote that down. I'm pretty sure we've actually read that one before. So I guess maybe he wrote multiple of that one or something. Okay then, so I'm not seeing too many other ways to get to a new one, except for that one that was at Mrs. Puff's Boating Academy, but I couldn't see a way to like get to it. But that's fine, because I'm pretty sure you know when we complete whatever level's next, or probably a few more notes will pop up. Love I'll look over here. Hey, wait, those aren't berries. Stupid gold. <laughs> we'll try to look around here a little bit to see if there's any extra notes. If there isn't, then I think we'll wrap up for no today. No more chafing. Because we've already been over there and found two notes. Come on, come on. Uh, don't hit oh, me. So relaxing. Oh no. We're getting Ow. beat up a little bit here. I can't even move. Oh. Sorry. It doesn't seem like there is anything up here. Hey, it's still cool to run around a little bit. So yeah, that was still pretty good. We got a lot of stuff found here in Bikini Bottom. We got a couple costumes uh -oh. unlocked too. No, Not no. Do. Uh, but let's see for ourselves. What did we actually get done here? If we pause, we still have three more left to find. We'll find them soon enough. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of SpongeBob SquarePants, The Cosmic Shake. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.